Yes, you are welcome viewers. This is Tisha Del Gracias or Dr. Did taking through taking you through uh, the sample paper that is uh, the practical paper of chemistry and the theory that was provided by UNEB some time back. Uh, in this paper that is 545 stroke 2 or 3, we have the sample item which was given by UNEB and uh, this is the sample which was saying an organization operating in fishing around Lake Kyoga organized a workshop to train local fish dealers on how to make common salt on a small scale which they can use to preserve fish, fresh fish. This involved mixing sodium hydroxide and dilute hydrochloric acid and during the training a participant was randomly picked and instructed to add a prepared solution of an acid to a base solution in the container. The participant noted that the container became warmer as he kept on adding the acid. He could not understand why and how much heat had been generated. So sodium hydroxide reacts with hydrochloric acid according to the following equation. So the heat produced varies with the volume of acid added to the base. And the acid, is prov pro and the acid provided is labeled BA1 and the base provided is labeled BA2. So task as a, chemist, a learner of chemistry, you are told to design an experiment you will carry out to determine the amount of heat produced during the reaction between BA1 and BA2 or produced when BA1 is added onto BA2. Now, according to uh, the, the scoring guide, a learner was supposed to come up with a list of information beginning with uh, the aim of the experiment then going to the variables of the experiment, after that heading to what we call the hypothesis of the experiment, uh, giving the list of apparatus with the relevant materials. Uh, after that, the learner was supposed to go ahead and give us the risk and mitigation procedures of the experiment, uh, data presentation and recording, data analysis and interpretation, Finally, conclusion and then recommendation where necessary. So this is uh, the, the scoring guide. Allow me to take you through uh, the scores or how the scores were supposed to be awarded. Now, beginning with uh, the aim of the experiment, remember when you look at that uh, item, it was on ant enthalpy of neutralization. So the aim of the experiment is always generated from the task or the scenario. So the learner was supposed was expected to say an experiment to determine the maximum heat produced during the reaction of sodium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid. Or he or she was supposed to say an experiment to determine an experiment to determine uh, the maximum heat produced during the reaction between BA1 and BA2 and the correct stating of uh, the aim of the experiment, a learner was supposed to score two. And after that, a learner was supposed to look at the variables of the experiments. And with the variables of the experiments, we have three different categories of the variables. The first one here is a dependent variable. Now, when you talk of the dependent variable, is that particular factor that you keep, uh, you keep on measuring. In this case, since we're looking at the enthalpy, of neutralization, the dependent variable or that particular factor that we should keep on measuring is going to be the temperature of solution. So generally, when you have been given an experiment on enthalpy, 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 whether being enthalpy of displacement, enthalpy of solution, enthalpy of neutralization, always our dependent variable is that temperature, the temperature of the solution. Then uh, another one is uh, independent variable. Now, when you talk of the independent variable, we mean that factor that causes change in the reaction. The factor that we cause change. In a, a local term, most simple term, we call it the problem causer. Which, in this case, it was the volume of that seed added. Since we were adding that seed onto the base, so the volume of that seed added keeps on varying and this becomes the independent variable. Then the third one is uh, the control variable. When we talk of the control variable, we mean those factors that are kept constant. In this case, we are looking at the volume of the base, which was fixed, or the volume of sodium hydroxide, which was fixed or measured, and which was, in this case, our control variable. 
And after that, Elana is expected to look at what you call the hypothesis of the experiment. And now with the hypothe hypothesis of the experiment, we do get this from the equation of the reaction. If the equation of the reaction is given, that is the overall information, what the experiment is all about and what you expect to happen overall in the experiment. So we know that the reaction between sodium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid produces heat. It is an exothermic reaction. So in this case, the hypothesis of the experiment becomes the reaction between sodium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid produces heat. And correct stating of that, Elana is supposed to score two. And Elana might mean to say that the reaction between sodium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid is exothermic. And that statement is also very right and that is also a very correct hypothesis. After that, we expect uh, the learner was supposed to come up with a list of apparatus with the relevant materials. Now, with the list of apparatus, the relevant materials, after the learner stating all those, we expect this learner to look at the risk and the mitigations. After that, of course, we also expect the learner to look at, to give us the procedures of the experiments. So as for the sample, here was the procedure of the experiment and the correct stating of the procedure of the experiment carries uh, three scores. Now, <clears throat> after that, when you look at the risk and the mitigations, every risk is supposed to be mis mitigated. Some of the risks that are, are according to the experiment that the learner is most likely going to face, we have some here being, one being swallowing of the base during pipetting. Since the learner was supposed to uh, pipette, meaning that becomes one of the risks. Now, how to mitigate that? We expect the learner to uh, use a pipette sucker or a filter, or you stop sucking as soon as the solution goes past the mark. That is the mitigation for that. And then we also have a risk that is acid powering on the skin or the question paper, and that can be mitigated by putting on a lab coat, gloves or clothes shoes. Or someone can say drying the working table as soon as it is wetted by the chemical. We also, someone can also have this as the risk, of course, you may have a faulty thermometer, so you always have to check on the thermometer before use. That becomes now the mitigation to that risk. Of course, the very many we also have a blockage of burette since we are supposed to keep on titrating at the acid or adding the acid onto the uh, the base in the beaker. So you might have a problem with the the, the blockage of the burette. So in that case. How do you have to mitigate it? What's the mitigation? You have to also make sure that uh, you check on the burette and preparing the base inside of the seed to avoid blockage in the burette. When the burette reacts with uh, carbon dioxide forming sodium carbonate, you well know those reactions that take place. In that case, and formation of sodium carbonate, of course, blocks uh, that opening of the burette and this will inhibit or stops the solution from reaching onto the solution in the Beaker. And now, after that, we expect uh, the learner to come up with what you call data presentation and recording. So, with data presentation, uh, this learner is supposed to, since the, the learner is looking at uh, the enthalpy of neutralization, and we expect him or her to note the initial temperature of that base and the initial temperature of that acid. So, those information before putting them in the table that is under data recording. Uh, the initial information, those uh, preliminary information will always be written outside and they fall under data presentation and that scores four. After noting those information outside there, that is the volume of the seed that you've, uh, uh, volume of the base that you've prepared or you've used, all those information after putting them outside, we expect uh, the learner to now come up with a table. Table that is what we call now data recording. You come up with a table as it has been indicated in this sample paper. Of course, now when looking at this practical, not all these learners reason the same way. So the format of uh, the table might also vary, but so long as all the, uh, the key information have been put in the table, this learner scores all uh, the scores. So that's why we're having a different tables because uh, the learners reason differently. Now, after that, of course, the learner is supposed to go to another section that is data analysis and interpretation. Now, in the data analysis and the interpretation, here is where 
plotting of graphs is expected. An Elana can mean to plot a graph of highest temperature, in this case again is volume of BA1. So before going ahead to begin plotting uh, the, 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 the informations, <clears throat> that is the data, you have to first write here that a graph of highest temperature, again the volume of BA1 was, uh, was, added, was plotted as shown in the graph paper. And then again on the graph paper, you have to go ahead and write now that the title that is, a graph of highest temperature again is volume of BA1 added. So here, this one here, under this, you are supposed to go ahead and since this is an exothermic reaction, you perform those calculations. That's why according to this, we're having heat evolved by the a reaction is given by heat equal to heat gain by the mixture. And we have the mass, of course, of the solution times specific capacity times the temperature change. So the calculation as per the information which you are given in the sample have already been indicated here. Of course, these learners cannot reason the same way, so you expect different graphs of different format to be uh, created by different learners. But now when scoring them, you keep on scoring basing on those key information that are supposed to be provided by the learners. After that, we expect the learner to go to what we call uh, uh, conclusion and recommendation. And of course, your conclusion should be in line with uh, our hypothesis. And that is why, according to this, the saying heat is evolved when sodium hydroxide reacts with hydrochloric acid. And the maximum heat evolved when 25 cubic centimeters of sodium hydroxide is mixed with 20, uh, 20 cubic centimeters of hydrochloric acid is uh, 1606.5 joule per mole. Now, this conclusion is done after plotting the graph and uh, extrapolating and all getting the maximum temperature evolved. And according to that, when you look at the graphs down here, when you look at the graphs down here, uh, someone can extrapolate and uh, come up with, uh, someone can extrapolate, let me show you here, and you come up with the required information. From here, you can see that uh, the maximum temperature of the mixture is this value up here. So with all those, uh, information a learner is able to score all the information so when a learner is doing a practical paper he or she is supposed to be well versed with the, those key information we talked of the aim of the experiment we talked of the variables of the experiment those are the the independent dependent and the control variable we went ahead and talked about the hypothesis of the experiment which a learner is supposed to get from the scenario of from the equation, I mean the equation of the reaction, if the equation of the reaction is given. And uh, we also went ahead and talked about the list of apparatus and the relevant materials, the procedures of the experiments, risk and the mitigations. And the learner is supposed to go ahead and uh, give us information that is data presentation and recording data analysis where and interpretation we're supposed to plot the graphs and interpret the graph and then conclusion and uh, recommendation where necessary then with uh, the, uh, the, 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 the the theory paper that is 545 stroke one according to the elements of construct uh, this is how the paper is supposed to be uh passing through this we have the first item that is the first item which was saying Onyera living in an area where they used borehole water slid, fell, and his white shirt became dirty. He decided to use a detergent to clean his shirt. The shirt remained with some brown spots, yet he had rinsed it several times. As a learner of chemistry, point out the problem Onyera made when choosing a product and help Onyera understand how the product works. Now, these information, a learner is supposed to be well versed with uh, the key topics, of course, we're looking at application of chemistry in our daily life. Item two comes from uh, material. So with this, the learner also is supposed to be well versed in all the required information, the categories of substances, the categories of the material. Of course, we have the natural materials and the synthetic or the man-made material. So the learner is supposed to define a material the, uh, state the different categories and define the different categories with examples. 
the suitability of the materials, those are the properties that makes a particular material be, to be used for a particular purpose. And when you talk of the choices of the materials, uh, the uses or the importance of those materials. Now, in section B, of course, we said part one, we always have uh, the industrial processes. The industrial processes, or we have uh, very many uh, items that are, can be created under this or can be brought, there are very many areas that can be brought under this. For example, we have this, and uh, according to the sample, this is according to the sample for UNEB, uh, 2024 that is the, the lower new secondary curriculum so we should be in position of knowing all those information item number five and item number six we say these ones come from the natural resources and with the natural resources uh, we say that should be in position of identifying the categories of the natural resources with examples and reasons and then it should also be knowing the composition of these natural resources, what they are made up of. Of course, the natural resources, we know them. We have the air, we have the fossil fuels, we have water, we have trees, we have grasses, we have the rocks and minerals, and many others. Others are natural, I mean, others are renewable, others are non-renewable. So a learner is expected to give, to categorize all those with, with reasons and uh, he or she who gives all those information gets the right scores. Now, according to that, we also have the scoring guide for that. It has also been given here. We talked of the first item. And of course, it was on soap and detergent. So we expected uh, Onyera to give the categories of the detergent. Of course, you have the soapy detergent and the, the soapless detergent. So now, the particular one which Onyera was supposed to use, he or she was, Aungira was supposed to indicate it there. Then as well, we were supposed to look at the function of the product, how these detergents work. We expected Onyera to also, I mean, uh, as a chemistry learner to also talk about that, and that score was two. We were supposed to go ahead and also talk about the dangers or the side effects of this product, and then as well as evaluation of the products. And when you talk about the evaluation of the products, always, uh, you're supposed to be giving similarities, and then the differences. And where necessary, then you add advice. Because when we look at item number one, item number one requires information on uh, those the categories, uh, the functions of the products, talk about uh, the social benefits where necessary, evaluation of the products, depending on what has been given. So we expect a learner to be well versed with all those information. So that is a uh, uh, as far as IT number one is concerned, on IT number two, it was about uh, uh, the categories of, of course, we talked of substances, it was the mixture, I mean, uh, sorry, it was uh, on the material, and we expected this learner, as Ad Halen said, to talk about the categories, or to give the categories, and when giving categories, he was supposed to also, as well, uh, define the different categories and give the re relevant examples, the properties of the materials, Suitability, when you talk of the suitability, is the property. We talk of the choices, choices we mean the uses, and the learner was supposed to as well go ahead and give what we call the side effects or the dangers and their mitigations, and as well as giving us uh, what we call the social benefits where necessary. That is with that. So according to the sample, all those information are having their score guide here. So take your time. Subscribe to Given Academy. Don't forget to turn on the notification bat uh, button so that uh, every uh, new information that we shall be uploading in our channel, you get updated. Please don't forget to invite your colleagues to join this channel. We have brought for you the service at the door.